हेलो फ्रेंड्स वेलकम टू द थर्ड पार्ट ऑफ द टॉपिक फ्रिक्शन इन विच फर्स्ट लेक्चर वी हैड ब्रीफ एक्सप्लेनेशन रिगार्डिंग टॉपिक फ्रिक्शन एंड इन द सेकंड लेक्चर वी हैड द एक्सप्लेनेशन ऑफ द डेफिनेशन ऑफ द टर्म लिमिटिंग फ्रिक्शन विद एग्जांपल ऑफ द प्रीवियस ब्लॉक और बॉक्स सो इन दिस थर्ड लेक्चर वील अंडरस्टैंड टाइप्स ऑफ फ्रिक्शन सो वॉट आर द टाइप्स ऑफ फ्रिक्शन आई Uh, shown here with a flow chart that is static friction and dynamic friction these are the basic two types of friction again there are two types of dynamic friction that is sliding friction and rolling friction so at first we'll understand meaning of this static friction static friction friction experienced by the body when it is at rest is called static friction so as we had a uh, talk about this box in first lecture initially when we apply force to this box it will not move that is due to friction so we can say that even though this box is not moving it is experiencing experiencing some friction force that frictional force is known as static friction friction experienced by the body when it is at rest is called frictional static friction in case of static friction p is less than f that is this external force p is less than f if this is less than f then the body will not move and so it is known as static friction and there is not motion now we'll understand what is dynamic friction friction experienced by the body when it is in motion is called dynamic friction so when we had a talk about this box when it is in motion it is also having some frictional force which is opposing to our force that frictional force is known as dynamic friction when only this body is in motion if it is at rest then the friction will become static friction then we had the sub type of uh, dynamic friction that is sliding friction as per this flow chart we'll get two terms sliding friction and rolling friction so at first we'll understand what is sliding friction which is a type of dynamic friction friction experienced by the body when it is sliding is called sliding friction or we can say sliding over a surface or in any other body for example this box what we are talking about it is already sliding on this surface and not rolling or at rest so it is sliding and during that time the friction which is experienced by experienced by that body is known as sliding friction that is uh, for example to push uh, the table on the floor or the box what we had an example then we'll understand rolling friction friction experienced by a body when it rolls over another body is called rolling friction for example ball bearing used in the machine or we can say the our car tires our car tires are continuously rolling on the road surface and that's why uh, the frictional force what we what it experiences is known as rolling friction that is if we have a figure this is the road surface and this is our car tire as this keeps on rolling it will give an opposing force if our car is moving like this in this direction with force p then it will be having some frictional force opposing it in form of rolling friction which will decrease our efficiency or efficiency of the car that is known as rolling friction so let us stop here today and in next lecture we'll understand the angle of friction till that time do watch all my videos and uh, stay tuned